Steph Curry. He just won an Olympics gold medal in Paris with LeBron James and Kevin Durant. Now, Curry cemented why not only is he a top 20 basketball player, but he's a top 10 player of all time. And people don't like to give him the credit because he has changed basketball more than any player ever in the history of basketball. The only person that can even compare to what Steph Curry has done throughout his career in terms of impacting basketball is Lou Alcindor when the dunk got banned. And now that Steph Curry has an Olympic gold medal in Paris, he has absolutely cemented his legacy as a top 10 player and the most impactful player of all time. The reason why Steph Curry doesn't get the credit that he deserves and people don't want to acknowledge him as a top 10 player is because he does not have a juggernaut body like the other all-timers. All the other all-time, LeBron James, Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Shaq, Wilt, Magic, Bird, Bill Russell, Tim Duncan. What do they all have in common? Physical freaks. They can dunk on you. They can dribble the ball, fly high. They can do things that you can't coach because they're either super big or like Larry Bird, very tall individual, 6'8 individual. Kobe, Shaq, Jordan, LeBron, flying through the air, dunking on people. Steph Curry can't do that. And that's why people discount his greatness. If you were comparing him to a superhero, he would be like Iron Man. Iron Man is one of the greatest superheroes of all time. Same thing with Batman. What is their actual strength? They don't have actual juggernaut power to be strong and run through everything. Captain America going on Thor. They don't have any of that. They're actually smart guys who figured out a glitch in the system and they have a special talent. They are smart, have resources and everything else. And Steph Curry has changed the game at every single level of basketball. He's changed the way it's played in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and in the NBA. Everything in between. Now you have to guard guys as soon as they walk in the gym. Guys are practicing better on their jump shots. Yes, there are more bad shots, but you can also have more people who can make those shots. It has changed the way defense has to be played because there are more good shooters. You have to stretch the court more. Nobody has had a bigger impact than Steph Curry. Two-time MVP, one-time unanimous, 10-time All-Star, four-time champ, now Olympic gold medal, and he was the hero against Serbia and against France. 3,747 three-pointers made. Nobody's even close. His legacy is cemented and give him the credit that he deserves. But I will say, though, that Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, the end of that game was magical. And the Serbia game, too. We got a chance to see players who were on a magical ride together because the ride's almost over. All of them been in the league over 15 years. LeBron's at 22. This ride's coming to an end soon. And to see them embrace each other and actually cheer for each other and be selfless and ball out, man, it, it warmed my heart because the ride's almost over. And who's going to capture our minds and hearts the way that they did? Because the history of the NBA says, so you had Dr. J, face of the league. Then you get Larry Bird and Magic. Then you get Michael Jordan. Then you get Kobe. Then you get LeBron and Steph. Now, who's up next? Is it Anthony Edwards? Is he going to be the next face of the league? Is it Jason Tatum? Is it Paulo Banchero? Is it Wimby? Is it Giannis? Who is going to capture us next? Who is going to not just be good? Because remember, the face of the league stays in the championship conversation. That's what it is. And that's what we need. And we got to figure out who it's going to be because these dudes run is coming to an end. Make sure you guys share with a friend, tell a friend about it, get notifications, and most importantly, share it.